Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're going to play some Castlevania. A classic made 30 years ago this year. Oh man, yeah, 1987. Uh, it's weird that they aren't doing anything for it. Yeah, well, they made that pachinko machine, and I think they made another pachinko machine. Did they make another pachinko machine? I don't or a, know. Or a patchy slot? I might, I might be thinking of the Metal Gear uh, pachinko machine. Maybe. Or a patchy slot, which is similar to a pachinko machine, but much closer to being a slot machine than normal ones. Oh. They're... Advanced gambling. I was going to say, they're really, really straddling the line between is this gambling and not at that point. But, eh, I like them. They're visually appealing and, you know, similar to, like, Pachinko in their way. Or not Pachinko, but, uh, uh, Pinball in their way. Um, I mean, I don't want to see them replace the games, you know? Well, sure. But, but I don't mind them coinciding with the games. I think they're cool. That makes sense. Uh, like, you know, I'd like to see a new Castlevania. That doesn't mean that I'm against a Castlevania Pachinko machine, just that you shouldn't only do a Castlevania yeah, Pachinko machine. Yeah. I mean, heck, even Capcom has the good sense to put out an anniversary edition every now and again for their their That's true. long dormant Mega Man franchise. Very rarely, but they'll do stuff occasionally. They were just talking about the 30th anniversary and... I think they're doing another chicken. best of uh, like collection. Well, probably another Mega Man Legacy collection for probably you know PS4. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, they don't want to make a new one. Making new ones hard. I mean, heck, even the guy who made the old one had a hard time making a new one. That's true. Well, there goes a stopwatch. Best item. <laughs> yeah, you may be right there. Right now you have a throwing dagger. You oh boy. And a good old Trevor Belmont on this. Oh, yeah. This one's Simon, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is Simon. He's the he's the original Belmont. Does the same guy go for two games? Because the second one's called Simon's Quest. Yeah, I think I think that one's like direct sequel. Okay, all right. Because uh, Dracula curses him at the end of uh... the first game. And so the second one is, is about, like fixing that. Man, what a jerk. Well, I mean, you know, dying breath, all that good stuff. I guess. I think it was you that was telling me. Isn't isn't the third one the one that the uh, Netflix series is based off of? Yes, yes it is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when they were doing the Nintendo Classic, I don't think they knew that that property was about to get new life. Probably They not. probably would have included it. I hope so. I mean, it has its Ellicisms, but it's a well-put-together prologue. Yeah. I would watch more of it. <laughs> and, you know, if and when they make more of it, I intend to. <laughs> Eat it, giant bat. That, you know that went pretty well. You timed the arc on that axe pretty decent. Mm. Probably good you got that instead of the throwing. Yeah. Man, a straight line attack. I already got a straight line attack. It's called a whip. Right. And, I mean, he does a lot of diving maneuvers, so having something that goes up so you can try and tag him on the, on the dive. I like how they have the bat on the map like it matters. <laughs> it's good to have goals. I suppose. What a family tradition to have to, like, just go fight monsters. And to have to learn something as weird as the bullwhip. Right? Like, that's a very specific skill set that takes a little while to learn compared to, like, you know, spears and pikes and whatever. Yeah, but you need something flexible and fast. Because vampires are faster and stronger than you are. I suppose that's true. But still, it's just bullwhip yeah. training. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Dad, I don't want to go to bullwhip training. Can I just use a gun? Dracula doesn't care about guns. Put a scar on his face, I'll give up immediately, though. Really? No. What? 
Am I missing something? You you aren't. I'm making stuff up. Oh. I mean, it's probably in some sort of vampire legend. That's how these things work. Yeah. Make it so he can't look at his beautiful face in a mirror. Wait. <laughs> so, I forget who I was talking to, but, um... They were reading, like, a, a bit of modern vampire fiction, which... I like the idea that there's modern vampire fiction other than that movie franchise. Uh, the, the Twilight. Right. Um, but they were talking about the fact that, like... Uh... You know, vampires, like, traditionally don't show up on film. Oh, yeah. But I guess that particular piece that they were reading delved into the fact that they do show up on digital film. Really? Why is that? Because original film was, uh, used silver. Ah, that's, that's why vampires vampi is weak to silver. Well, they don't show up on mirrors because of the silver as well. Because mirrors were originally silver-backed. Ah. That's why they didn't show up in mirrors, and that's why they didn't show up on early film. But digital film... Uh, excuse all of that for, you know, digital Friggin recording. Medusa. And so... Oh, yeah, no, this is the worst. This is... This is what made, like, a younger version of me go play something else. <laughs> or go outside. <laughs> Done! Go outside! Ouch. Ride big wheels. But yeah, like, the idea that vampires would show up on digital film was just really interesting and that it all comes down to the, the silver component that is missing from modern film and heck a lot of mirrors honestly i mean we found ways to polish other things and put a, a cheap backing on there that isn't uh actually silver and then vampires became more vain <laughs> yeah yeah probably Stands to reason. All that, all that eternal youth and stuff. I mean, yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. But uh, anyway, I know you can do this. You've done it. I believe in you. No. 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 Friggin'. <laughs> they got your number this time, I guess. Well, I mean. You can do great and dodge all the Medusa heads, and then, for whatever reason this time, they've got me on that last pixel of their body I can't seem to dodge. Yeah. And of course, now you have the crappy starter whip again, so everything is harder to kill. Yeah, well, it'll get... You get upgrades for that pretty fast, honestly. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, it was. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, I knew it comes back, but I didn't know it based it, on your original know it kept position. Going, yeah. And that, yeah, it would just... That's actually kind of cool. And of course, there's no hold the button to jump longer, so you press that jump button, you're in the air. You press that jump button, you will jump that much. <laughs> one of the things I noticed during one of your earlier like run-throughs was... Uh, it seems like if you don't kill the Medusa heads, they come back from the other direction. Uh, the Medusa head spawns the direction you're facing. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. I thought it was the ones that you were dodging earlier coming back. No. Uh, they're just jerks. If you turn around, they'll come from the other direction. No! Yeah. <laughs> it's like it hit, you, it, it hit like your sock. New bottom, socks were a bad idea. Bottom of your shoe. <laughs> I mean, if anything's gonna mess up your jump... Yeah, but... It's really punishing you for that. Because those platforms are just big enough to fall off of. Yeah. But not so close together you'll get knocked to another one. Right. Ah. Thought I could get out ahead of them. It's okay. We got this. Jeez, I really don't have anything else to say about this game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that speaks ill of me or the game. Mm. Uh, but I mean, it's the first one. It didn't have room for a lot of. 
I don't even understand how that works architecturally. <laughs> I mean, there's stairs there, and then there's a platform. And I get I get why the other areas have jumping parts. It's because, like, it's a crumbling castle or whatever. But where or what did you just fall into? You just... It's like you fell down the stairs because you forgot to press the go downstairs button. You rolled Basically, a, that's what happened. You rolled a one. <laughs> I, I didn't press... I just walked off. I didn't press down, so I didn't know I was engaging the stairs. But... I swear this is why Metroid used elevators. <laughs> you might not be wrong. Alright! Well, we've ended our session by falling three feet to a platform we know exists. Yeah, but you... You, you you sprained an ankle or like tore your hammy. Can't go fight vampires like that. Oh no! Remember, you're the nobility. Uh, you're gonna go back to your carriage and be uh, carried back to like you know Sebastian or Ralstead or whatever your servant's name is, and he's gonna doctor you real good. No wonder everybody hated the Belmonts in the anime. <laughs> well. That's it for this episode of Endless Mode. Thanks for uh, watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.